All right, so let's see what kind of pictures we can generate using Stability AI. So let's just go ahead and start with something like this. So let's run this, let's see what we get. Well, that's pretty impressive. So of course we cannot do one of these without creating a picture of a beautiful model. So that was pretty straightforward. I guess you could be picky about fingers or something here, but overall a great job. Now this time, let's try to do something that could be more useful. So imagine if you're a business, you're trying to run some sort of ads and maybe you're a coffee shop, you want something as a marketing material. So let's do something like this. So that's pretty good. Now let's try to extend this a little bit. So I'm going to copy this message, paste it back here, and I'll ask for a specific background. Let's try again. And this time I'm going to ask for a camera to be pointing from the top. So sometimes this takes longer to generate. I'm gonna speed up some of these in a video. Well, that was odd. So when I click on this, it actually does open the full picture, but here we have kind of this weird thing. I think it's more like a web development problem on the website than anything else, but this is good. So now let's say I want to extend this going right so we have some space so we can add some text on top of this. So I'm gonna open the toolbox here. Basically what we'll do, I guess we'll zoom out. And I really just want to go right. And the rest is fine. So down, left, I'm gonna keep it zero. Let's hit confirm and see what happens. So hopefully we'll get the same picture with some extended table on the right side. Pretty good. Now, could we just replace latte art from this flower to maybe like a heart? Not what I was expecting, but let's try this again. Hmm. So that's stuck. I'm going to try it one more time. Let's see what happens. So there we go. We got from this to this lighting here is not as good as it was over here. Can we try to upscale this with a twist? So that was a fail. So that's what we got. So let's try in a different way. So I'll go back here and try the same thing. But I'll do something like this.
interesting. So this is what it was. And this is what we got. Again, not bad. The table is completely different now, but the picture is sharp and nice. This is definitely something you could use. Let's try something else. Let's say you have a pizza shop and you want something for your pizza ad. So we'll see how it does with pizza delivery person. I mean, looks pretty good. What if we switch this to a girl? So somehow this is less realistic as far as how we hold this boxes. So let's try again. I mean, you couldn't hold this box like this and this box like this and, and still not have this whole thing fall apart. Now again, it's interesting how it renders the person actually really great, but somehow this whole holding boxes part is not super realistic. Now this one actually is pretty good. I mean, you might say the finger here is not right, but the rest of it looks pretty good. What's also interesting is that this seems to be the same person. Is it the same person if we scroll up? and look at this picture? No, I don't think so. I mean, I'm pretty sure if we keep generating enough times at some point, it will probably be better. And what's interesting is that it seems to be always doing pepperoni pizza somehow. But I mean, in the end of the day, you could definitely use this, right? So what if we try to do a little more close up and see if we can see some details in that person's generated face. So I find a lot of times when you want to generate something, you have to think about if somebody took that picture and they posted the picture, what would they actually describe it like and go with that description as your search. I mean, that's pretty good, isn't it? Well, let's try the same. with a model. Let's try to change this photographer part and just do with high quality lens. So what if I do the same request and instead of a model, we do girl. I'm curious if it's going to be less of this like polished look. Yeah. So that's interesting, right? So every time I do model, it seems to get me all of this polished skin look and here a little more realistic. I mean, at this point, let's agree, unless you do some 
examination to figure out that this is fake, I don't think you'll be able to tell. Okay, so it seems like it's pretty good with people. Let's try to do an object. I don't know, a guitar or something. So let's do like classical guitar. Apparently it's generating audio on this one. Nope, let's do classical guitar picture. All right, so this definitely doesn't look real. So too many strings, everything is a little off. What if we do this? It seems to start with six strings here, but then there is this other string that goes to nowhere. So what if we do like electric guitars? Is it gonna do better with that? So this time I'm going with electric and we're going for a specific type. And that's a lot more like it, even though a lot of stuff here is off. This whole area here doesn't look correct, but the body actually is very close. All right, let's do one last picture on this one. And then maybe in a future video, we can try to manipulate real existing photos and see what we can get out of it. But on this one, let's just try to generate a Christmas tree. All right, there you have it. You can see a lot of these you could easily use if you need some marketing material or something like that. Maybe I'll do another video and we can take existing pictures and we can try to manipulate them and see what we can get out of it. That would be a little more interesting probably. Let me know what other things you want me to try and I'll try to add that to my future videos too. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.